Let's talk about how these restrictions apply to our quadrants. When we're looking at the sine function, notice that we were limited to negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So on our axes, we can go ahead and label those two pieces. So here's our negative pi over 2 and our positive pi over 2. So we're going to be working in either quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. Keep in mind that when we're working with our sine function, sine is positive in quadrant 1. And sine is negative in quadrant 4. Let's take a look at our cosine function. We are limited to 0 to pi. So when we're working with our cosine function and its inverse, we're going to be restricted to quadrant 1 or quadrant 2. Keep in mind that cosine is positive in quadrant 1. And in quadrant 2, cosine is negative. When we're looking at our tangent function, we're restricted to negative pi over 2, positive pi over 2. So that's putting us back in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. And in quadrant 1, tangent is positive. In quadrant 4, tangent is negative. So depending upon the information that we're given, either the function value that we're working with is going to be something that is positive, or the function value is going to be something that is negative, and that's going to help us to identify which of the quadrants we want to go ahead and draw our triangle in.